What are you saying everyone, ADR here back with another foot draft challenge. Today we're going for the highest rated draft. At the moment it's still 87 rated and we're going to start things off with the 3 4 one, two formation. And you know what? 89 rated Viali is a very nice way to kick off the draft challenge. Striker number two is going to be Saar. I mean 90 rated French. Or do we go with Correa? Should I really try and focus on getting chemistry today? I feel like it's it's too often that I switch up leagues and don't stick to one league. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get do my best to get chemistry today. However, I will take Caruso. She gets the Italian link uh, with Vialli. Now <laughs> we're already we've already ended up in three different leagues, but. We will sort it out. Don't worry. We will sort it out. Our cam is going to be Wesley Schneider. Easy enough option to take. Can play centre mid and left mid as well. Our actual left mid is... Okay, who works the best for chemistry? Probably David Neres. I think it is David Neres. And can play left mid, right mid and cam. Yeah, I'm going to go with David Neres. So we're leaning towards the Serie A theme. Makes sense because we have two Serie A heroes. Here, we go Inyaki Williams, maybe? I mean, it's going to be... It's a difficult nation to get chem to, but then so is... So is Jamaica. So... I'm not really sure who's to take. Maybe just go rating. He does get the Dutch link as well, does Daniel Marlin. Now, taking Carmen would be okay. Because she gets the Atleti link. Taking Caligaris might be better. What else is here? Mark Bartra doesn't really help. I'm going to go with, with her for the UV link. Centre-back number two. Surely Dali Blind, right? We've got a few Dutch players. I feel, If I would have went for se Sevilla players... We would have been laughing. I will take Daily Blind. Ex-Man United player. Guys, if you support Man United, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. We do have a Man United Road to Glory in the... Well, it's already started. I was going to say it's in process, but it's... Yeah, well, it is in process, isn't it? It's in progress because we have started it. Now, Unai Simon for chemistry is probably the better option. But probably not the best. The amount of athletic club cards. or Is it athletic club or athletic Bilbao? Athletic club. Fair enough. Um, the amount of cards we've had and passed up on is ridiculous. We would have been on full chemistry had we have taken them. So I'm going to take Endler here for rating. And hopefully we're going to get a better goalkeeper that actually fits for chemistry. We get David Raya. We get a Gaza. Gaza's probably the best here for chem. We'll take him, gets the Ginola link, gets the Argentina link. We need to replace Benton Core for sure. And Daniel Marlon probably as well. But other than that, for chemistry, we're not actually looking too bad. So that is a positive. Javi Galan doesn't have left mid. Otherwise, he would have come in very handy. Do we take Hinkakie for rating? I'm going to take Rao Albio for potential chemistry. We're next going rating. We're taking Teo Hernandez. He is going to go in the squad at left mid. Neres is going to play right mid. And that works quite nicely. Next pick, it's going to be 90 rated Jude Bellingham. I don't really want to see what else there is. Because when we get a 90 rated card, we have to take it. Now he gets one chemistry, which is not great. But maybe we'll get some more Real Madrid players. We get Koke, who I think is the best option here. And I'll show you why. Now, Sabitz is the highest rated, but Koke is the best option. Plus two doing that. Then if we put in Rao Albio, we're up to 31 chem with 85 rating. It's Teo Hernandez and Bellingham off chemistry. One more Serie player and we're on full chemistry. Next pick is, I guess we go rating here. Nothing that particularly helps us for chemistry my lord might even come in and get a little bit of chem no she doesn't unfortunately she would get that french link with teo hernandez but obviously she herself doesn't get chemistry so it doesn't help that much we get 
a couple heroes that I don't think are going to help us much with chemistry. However, 90 rated Hansen, even though she can't play at the moment, she probably won't be able to play regardless, but it's a 90 rated player for the bench at least. We cannot complain about that. Next pick, I'm going to take Eva. Oh no, I thought he was in Serie A. We'll take Brian here then. Potentially could come in and help us, probably won't. Donny van der Beek gets a perfect link with Daily Blind, but we're not going to pretend like we care about that because 90 rated Vinicius Jr. has showed up, does go in over Teo Hernandez, does complete our chemistry. Could we have done it? Do we go up to 86? We, we're not up to 86. I wonder if we're 86 with Hansen in the team. We are. Wow, okay. So we're definitely close. We've still got three picks left, which is still a lot. But not when we're getting players like that. Uh, we will go highest rated here. Nothing. We don't need chemistry. So we're fine there. And it looks like we're going to be getting some bad picks to end off the draft. Can we get one big player? No. That was the... We ran out of good players, unfortunately. Now, taking Ansu Fati... I still don't think we would be able to fit Hansen in the team. She would need, no, nah, she would need too much for chemistry. So we'll settle for the 85 rated, 33 chem. I think it's a 118. It doesn't go up with Mallard on the bench, does it? No. So we'll take our manager. We'll take Postacoglu and let's get into the next draft attempt. So into the next draft attempt, we are going ahead and taking the 4-3-3. Oh, should we take the 4-3-3 flat formation or the 4-3-3 holding? I'm trying to think. High rated CDMs, maybe a Rodri. You know what? 4-3-3 holding it is. First pick is going to be Joe Cole. 87 rated, can play right or left wing goes into the right wing position for now let's try and stick with a premier league sort of theme and we'll see how that goes now we we'll straight away have to abandon that um do we just go highest rated here i think we do no one was probably gonna get chemistry out of the players we had to choose from enzo fernandez best for chem sabitza best for rating alongside um alongside her I'm not sure how to pronounce her name actually Cuthbert's there as well but doesn't really help I'm gonna go with Enzo I think chemistry is the first step and oh, they're not helping us out we're trying to go for chem and they are really not helping us out CDM Rodri maybe no we get Party or Jorginho I mean let's keep going for chem We've started going for a Prem team, so let's let's follow it up. Now, on the bench, it should allow us to take the higher rated players. We get 88 rated Romero, which is great for rating. Alongside him, can we get someone else good? De Sassi, I guess. Right back is going to be Malo Gusto. A very good card, this, uh, this right back card, by the way. And in goal, we get Alex Romero highest rated and potentially could get some chemistry we need a prem keeper we don't get one we do get our Arsenal keeper we don't have any Arsenal actually we have Jorginho we do have Jorginho Antonio Silva with the card that looks very long right or am I am I is it just my eyes or does that card look really long either way should we take, I mean, Antonio Silva is good rating, but she's just not going to get chem. So I guess Pau Torres, it's either Pau Torres or it is Diogo Dallo. You know what, Diogo Dallo is a really good card in the game anyway. So let's go with him, play him in at left back. Next up is going to be either Saliba or Ricardo Carvalho. Now, I'm going to go with Ricardo Carvalho. He's not a Premier League hero, but 
he goes into the team he's high rated we are trying to get the highest rated draft believe it or not so that makes sense we'll take Kulisevsky here because that should near enough complete our chemistry just the goalkeeper now and in fact we could get a bit more chem playing at Zinsberger we just need a new centre mid Conor Gallagher ex-Premier League player obviously not a Premier League player anymore Cuthbert might make sense to take I thought she might get a bit more chemistry she doesn't which is surprising considering the uh, the amount of Chelsea players we have I uh, guess the Sassy has moved to the bench so that's fine no one's helping there next pick is going to be Ooh, I guess we take Luis Diaz right for rating. Rojo's there. Great defender. Griezmann's there. Great attacker. Kessler's there as well. Would actually help us with chemistry in that centre mid slot. But I've decided to take Luis Diaz. Call me crazy. But that's what we're doing. And we'll play Joe Cole back at right wing. Him in that left wing. Now, for our reserves, a big striker would be great. We get Munoz. Doesn't have centre-back anymore. Uh, we'll take Pepe for rating in that case. Next pick is going to be Kirby. Oh, she used to play for Chelsea. I was hoping she got that link with Cuthbert, but um, she doesn't. So, that's fine. We will take her anyway. Go on to the bench. We're up to 84 rated, so not really reaching the heights of the first draft. Well, with a couple picks left, you never know. Penultimate pick is... Now, do I take Soloff? Just because I need a new striker, I think I do. I'm taking Soloff. Um, also putting Gallagher in the team. And then last pick is going to be... You know, Matt Spiefel probably saves us for chemistry. So, you know, what, let's get full chem. Actually, we don't have a keeper. Oh, that's slightly annoying. Let's get close to full chem then. And it is going to be an 84 rated draft unless Gallagher takes it up to an 85, which he doesn't. So we will take our, we will take our manager. I don't know what happened there. And we will get into the next draft attempt. So into the next draft attempt, we'll go for the 4-2-4 formation. And we're going to start off with, I think we just go highest rated here. We'll go with Antoine Griezmann. Getting a La Liga team is probably the best team you can build in terms of rating. And I know Osman doesn't fit for chemistry and he probably won't. But 87 rated for the bench is good as well. Now, a choice between Madri and Luis Diaz. Luis Diaz has a high rated card. Madri can play sentiment as well, gets the French link. Quite a few high rated Leon players as well, like... 90 rated Yanni, that's a perfect link. Very happy we took Madri. Center mid number one is, I guess we take Cristante, or do we go Gronin for chemistry? Let's keep it higher rated, we'll take Cristante. Second pick is gonna be Rodrigo de Paul, so gets the Atleti link. Which is really nice. Left back. Who do we get at left back? We get Raum. We get Tagliafico. For chemistry. Gets the Leon links. And the Argentinian link. I quite like that. One more Leon player. He's on full chemistry. Um, and so are the rest of them. To be fair. Other than that. I guess Diego Rico is an option for the La Liga. I know it's another league. But I don't. I don't know, it feels like we can still get him chemistry. Okay, now we do face a choice. Marquinhos is there. We can't realistically take him. Saliba's there. We've got a lot of French players. Rojo's there, who gets the chemistry, can also play at right back. Rudiger's here. Do you know what? I'm taking Rudiger, and I'll tell you why. Because there's so many high-rated Real Madrid players that it will help out his chemistry, taking Rudiger and then ending up getting a, another Real Madrid player. Here, I don't think it really matters. Uh, we'll go Hansko, we will need to replace him at some point. Right back is gonna be Juan Fuif, I guess. Gets the Argentina link, uh, is just another 
La Liga player in the team. And then in goal, we get a big goalkeeper. Uh, Samba might be the best option being French. Other than that, Providell is here as well, but I'm going to go with Samba. So we're 85 rated going on to the bench. Our goalkeeper, Diogo Costa, is he a bit overrated? After that Europa League game against Man United, I, I do think he might be. But um, David Raya, if we had taken Saliba, it would be good. But I mean, Spanish and Arsenal, we could get a few of those players. So we'll take him just in case. We get Marquez here, 88 rated. I think that's a bit of a no-brainer. We'll take him. Plus five to the chemistry. La Liga players should be good for chemistry now. We also get 89 rated Cola. He's just a great player to have. It's just shame that we've got three really high rated defense or centre backs. Onabache is there as well, but she's not really going to help. We'll take Cola. Um, start him instead of Rudiger, I guess. That works for me. Next pick is going to be Savonier. Not really much to, to say about that one. We do need a big striker. You know what? Marcos Llorente is really nice. Does Foyf have left back? He doesn't. But I do think Llorente is the best player to take here. He goes in at centre mid. Gets us plus three to the chemistry. Um, starting David Raya doesn't really do anything. Oh, we get plus five playing Savonier. That is crazy. How did I not see that? Either way, we'll play Marcus Llorente at right back. And it literally now is just our striker. So one big striker to replace Osman. And there's Harry Kane. Or do we go with Dembele? Hear me out. If we go with Dembele, there's enough. Is there enough? Oh, to be honest, it's a high rated draft. We kind of highest rated draft. We kind of have to take. Feels like we kind of have to take Harry Kane. 91 rated guys. Let me know in the comments which player you would take. In terms of chemistry, I am certain that we're at full chemistry with Dembele. So unfortunately, that is what I'm gonna have to do. There you go. We're at full chemistry. Kane would have got some chemistry because of Kola, but he would have needed an English player, would have needed more Bundesliga players. So I, I guess there's no guarantee that Kane would have been able to start. We still do have quite a few picks, so you never know, but it's the choice we made. So let's see how the rest of the draft goes. Uh, I'm going to take Timo Werner here. We don't need Demarcus. It'd be great if we could get up to 86 rated and get higher rated than our first draft. Now, Freegang or Van Leer. I'm wondering if we can potentially get to 86 rated with a change in the starting lineup. Doesn't look like it at the moment, but we still have a few picks left. I'm just thinking maybe like Madrian at center mid and then like this, and then we just need a Dutch manager. Does that work? It potentially could. Who knows? Next pick is going to be Mukiele, maybe. We'll take him. Two picks remain. Okay, not a good player there. We'll take Pablo for now, because why not? And then our last pick is not going to be good either. We'll take Gertruda. Now, I think all the highest rated players are on, and we're not up to 86. So, we'll put it back to how it was with... I think Savonier was playing in centre mid and Madri was there. We will take our manager. And that's it for this video. So guys, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Be sure to join us on more ADR career mode videos. And guys, I will see you again next time.